we are now going to conduct our Wizard of Oz ANOVA in SPSS. Rather than using an existing data set, we're going to create this one from scratch so that we can practice our SPSS skills. So open up SPSS, start with a blank data set, and we're going to begin creating variables. So we will begin in variable view. So here we are in SPSS, and we are going to start in variable view. Our first task is going to be to create two variables. The first variable we're going to call region, R-E-G-I-O-N. Put that under name, hit enter or return. We've now created that variable. The second variable is called complaints, C-O-M-P-L-A-I-N-T-S, and enter. Now the assumptions for ANOVA tell us that one of our variables must be categorical, and that's going to be region. So let's change our measure to nominal. And the second of our variables has to be scale. We're going to change that. We're also going to change our labels. So the first variable we are going to label as location where witches live, and the second variable complaints about wicked witches. Great. There's one more thing we need to do, and that is to add values to our categorical variable. So we're going to click on values and start adding some value labels, where one is going to be north, two south, three east, and four west. Remember that you have to add or click the word add in between each of those additions for value labels. Finally, we'll click OK. And I'm going to change the decimals here for region to zero. For complaints, we can, uh, oh, we'll change that to zero as well. OK, great. Now let's click over to data view. You may recall that we have four regions, each labeled as 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's add those numbers for our region variable. Remember, there were five surveys from each region, so we'll need five of each of those numbers. We know that we have the correct number of regions because our final value here is 20. And there were 20 surveys that were conducted total. For the complaints, you'll need to get these from your notes. So fill in these values using the numbers in the notes. How many complaints were there in region 1? There was 0, 1, 3. Continue filling in these values using your notes. Great, now we have all of our data entered. We are ready to begin analysis. We're going to begin in the Analyze menu. So Analyze, Compare Means, One-Way ANOVA. This brings up a dialog box in which we can enter our independent and dependent variables, or our independent factor. Well, the factor is going to be region. And the dependent variable is number of complaints from each region. Now, there are two other boxes that we need to check. We'll start with post hoc. In our post hoc, we have several options for doing a post hoc analysis. Do you remember which one we're going to do? It's two keys, honestly significant difference, right there. And click Continue. Now click on Options. Among the options we have are for our descriptive statistics. We want that and the homogeneity of variance test that will give us a Levine's test. So click Continue and OK. Here is the output. Let's go back to our PowerPoint slides and examine this output in more detail. The first thing that we can notice in our output is that a Levine statistic has been calculated for the homogeneity of variances. We would like for Levine to be non-significant. In fact, it is a 0.918, so that is far from 0 0.05. The Levine test is non-significant. That means that the variances can be assumed to be equal. That's a good thing. As we look at the output for our ANOVA, notice that this looks a lot like our ANOVA summary table that we've been working with previously. The one exception is that these 
we'll call them the second and third column, have been switched. I put degrees of freedom first, followed by sum of squares. That's the way that you should do that in your APA write-up. However, SPSS gives us those two columns switched. Sums of, sum of squares first, then degrees of freedom. So the numbers are accurate. They're just in what we might say is the wrong column. Mean square and F are also generated, as well as a statistical significance value or a p-value, in this case, 0, 0, 0. Now, do you remember how we write up a 0, 0, 0? It's going to be less than 0, 0, 1. Well, what that tells us is that there is a statistically significant difference. Where are those differences? We need to look at our post hoc results. So what you will find in these post hoc results are four groupings where each region is compared to each other region. So for instance, the first box compares the north region to south, east, and west. And we can look at the significance values that are generated to determine which ones are statistically significantly different. In the case of the north region, it is not different from the south, but it is different from the east and from the west. In the south, it is not different from the north, but it is different from the east and the west. In the east region, it's different than the north and the south, but it's not different from the west. So what this shows us is that we really have two groupings. North and south are not different from each other, but they are collectively different from east-west. East-west are the same as each other, but they are different than north and south. We will also find something below this, multiple comparisons, that gives us this a little more clearly. These are subsets for each of the groups. And what we see is there's subset 1 and subset 2. Subset 1 includes north and south, so those are the same. Subset 2 includes east and west. They are the same, but north and south are different than east and west. So that's how we would then interpret our post hoc results. We could go to our five steps and in this case calculate our statistic using SPSS. The value calculated would be 10.49. We'd make a small change in the way that we did our write-up, however. We would say that there was a statistically significant difference among the four regions on Wicked Witch complaints. This time F with 3 and 16 degrees of freedom equals 10.49 comma probability less than 0 0.001. The reason we use the less than 0 0.001 is the actual value given to us in the results was 0 0 0, but they, there is not a zero probability. All we know is it is less than 0 0 1. Had we been given an actual probability value, we would have written that up here. So now we're ready to put these pieces all together in our write-up for ANOVA using our SPSS output. There was a significant difference among the four regions on wickedness complaints. F with 3 and 16 degrees of freedom equals 10.49 comma probability less than 0 0.001. Post hoc testing revealed significant differences between pairs of regions with north, here's the mean and standard deviation, and south, also mean and standard deviation, having fewer complaints than the east, mean and standard deviation, and the west mean and standard deviation. These findings indicate that there are more Wicked Witch complaints in the east and west regions of Oz. And again, if you're familiar with The Wizard of Oz, that will not come as a surprise. And if you're not familiar with The Wizard of Oz, you need to watch that movie.